Hey, hey, we are training for the Walt Disney World Marathon scheduled for January of 2022. This is the end of our week seven training. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe, hit notifications. We are posting videos every week. You can follow along as we prepare for the big day. Stick around. All right, so it's week seven of our 28 week training yeah. plan. So we're, what, like a quarter of the way through? Quick math. I'm not good with math. We're almost down to 20 weeks to go. <laughs> <laughs> Time is flying. Um, you know, I, we have a countdown going for vacation. Um, that trip is 145 days away. So that is, it's countdownable. It's not that far away. Yeah. So, um, right. This is week seven. We did four miles this week. They felt really good, which was great because last week was miserable. Mm -hmm. A miserable, difficult, soul-crushing seven miles. Mm -hmm. So this, I think, gives us a little bit of hope for next week. Nine miles. Hey. <laughs> we got out early. Um, we did. We always made it our early. plan. Yeah. So we did it this week. Mm -hmm. It was actually and dark. it helped a lot. Yeah. With the heat yeah. and the humidity. Yeah. Once the sun breaks through, and it's over. And it, yeah, it it really is over. But today was really good, mm -hmm. and it was really good because we got out early. Mm -hmm. It was really good because we were able to get our uh, weekly run in. Uh, and so I I, I think our, our the Wednesday run. Yeah, the Wednesday yeah. run. Yeah. Uh, we. Um, you know, I think our our bodies are uh, adjusting and and you know ready for a run on Saturday, yeah. which is really neat. Feeling more comfortable. Yeah, and our our times are still um, our pace is quicker than it has normally been in mm -hmm. the past. So we're yeah. really really thrilled about that, and we're hoping you know as we get uh, on longer longer runs that we can maintain that, and, and I think we can. Mm -hmm. And then the other reason why today was great uh, is uh, I didn't hurt as much. So if you've seen our last couple of updates, we have been talking about David's knees, which were self-diagnosed as um, an IT band issue. This week it got so, or I guess last week, at the, the long run last week, it became so problematic that we got a real diagnosis. He called the doctor on Monday, mm -hmm. and they were able to get him in, and um, it is an IT band issue, apparently. Um, but, interesting thing, we found out that what we were doing was, like, the absolute wrong thing to do to help with this issue. So, David has some knee sleeves that in the past he's had to wear um, to support his knees, um, which he hadn't been wearing lately, but when his knees started flaring up again, he kind of threw them on. Um, we actually need to do the opposite, so the doctor recommended... Um, uh, KT or K tape, KT tape, yeah. KT brand, K tape, yeah. kinesiology tape. Yeah. So we tried that today, and how you feel? But it, yeah, I felt great. Awesome. It, it really did. So, so, so the idea is, you know, the IT band runs along the the side of your leg. Uh, it it goes uh down your knee, a crossover goes all the way down. So anyway, um. My symptoms were exactly mm -hmm. uh, uh, what you would expect with an IT band. So uh, the KT tape is really, really, it, it immediately alleviated mm -hmm. the pain on the outside of my knee. And uh, that one strip of tape, put mm -hmm. it on this morning, I felt better right after the tape. I've been stretching. The IT tape uh, is... Uh, KT tape. I'm IT sorry. Band. Yeah, the IT IT band KT tape. Man, it's just too many acronyms. The the tape is one part of a process to alleviate IT band issues. The the other is stretching before and after uh, a workout, uh, foam rolling, uh, which just feels great, uh, and, and then you know the tape. 
So, uh, so far, so good. Uh, it was a really good run today. Uh, I felt so much better today as compared to last week. So, mm -hmm. so Very good. listen to your body and you know what? Don't be afraid to go to the doctor yeah. if something's wrong. You're right. Go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. Listen to your wife. <laughs> go to the doctor. Listen to this doctor. <laughs> so that was, that was great. Uh, so, you know, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, what else we got? Well, um, we're gonna we're gonna try to maintain the the fartlets uh, during the week, uh, and, and just running during the week uh, prior to long run Saturday, uh, because I, I think it, it's really making us feel. Yeah. Good. So in, in the past prior races and whatever, I have been anti running more than once a week, and it really is pretty beneficial. To do so we're not running multiple times a week listen we're getting older we don't want to run multiple times a week mm -hmm. but we'll run twice a week and it does seem to be having um, a positive impact on our times which is great to not be as slow <laughs> yeah. we're you know we did 11 minutes today on our four mile run and four miles is generally 12 1230 yeah, for us. Like, yeah. Yeah, we just kind of yeah. toodle along. But I feel like I have more um, more energy. Um, I don't know. Well, yeah, you talked about that today. Yeah, the end of the run. I, I, I didn't feel like I was going to die. And normally in the past, no matter what length of run I'm doing, it doesn't matter if it's three miles or 13 miles or whatever, the last little bit, I'm just spent. You know, there's no gas in the tank whatsoever. But today, you know, the last half mile, I was still, I even picked up the pace a little bit. Yeah, like and, and according to our splits. That was a faster mile. Your last mile was the fastest mile. No, the first mile. The fir so first mile was downhill. The full second mile. Uphill. Pretty much uphill and really steep hills. But yeah. then after that, it was like levelish. Uh -huh. So mile two was, mile one was okay. Mile two was terrible feeling the time wasn't bad but it felt yeah. it was really difficult uh, but yeah mile four was second fastest mm -hmm. so here's the deal if you are fortunate enough to be so athletic that you can just run good for you if you're not and you're uh gonna run an event get a training plan and uh and and stick with it the the run disney training plans uh which we're not following exactly not exactly but <laughs> it, it they're great training plans and, uh, you know, you can modify them like we have. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I, I think this has really, really helped us and we feel good. Because our ultimate goal is not only to have a fantastic time during Marathon Weekend at Walt Disney World, uh, but to not be out there for uh, six hours and 45 minutes. Right. So that's Which our plan. Which is what happened last time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and if, you, if you want to watch it, we'll stick the link to... Uh, to to the marathon uh, from January of 2020. Anyway, so that's our update. Week seven in the books. Remember, every week we'll have an update. We want to hear from you. Uh, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Hey, whatever we do, it's always an adventure with you. We've reached the hills. <laughs> mile one to mile two is mostly uphill. A little bit downhill over here. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Pretty rough. Downhill. Once we get past mile two, we're mostly coming to the hills. <gasps>